Okay, boys and girls, we've been working on commas all week long. We have added commas to a series of nouns. We've added commas to a series of verbs. We've added commas to, we've learned to pause at a comma. Today we are going to be talking about adding a comma to a street address when you're writing it in a sentence or like this. So let's look, addresses include different information. So this is a street address, a city and a state, and we have to use a comma to separate each part of an address when we're writing it out like this, when we're writing it all in one line like this. So let's look, here we have this John Markey, and then we put a, a comma after his name, and then we write the address, 5308 East Main Street, comma, Olakala, comma, New York. So there's always a comma between a city and a state. Remember, when we practice writing our own addresses, there's a comma there. And when we're writing it out all on one line like this, we have to put a comma in between all the important information. So there's a comma after the name, after the street address, and then between the city and the state. So if I was writing out, let's say, somebody's address, if I was writing out Mary Jones's address, I'm making her up, so if I say Mary Jones, Mary Jones, comma, 123 Main Street. Then I put comma. Then I would put, I don't know, let's say she lives in Chicago. It's got New, York. <laughs> New York, New York, because there's a, oh, is that funny? Because it's a city named New York, and it's a state named New York. That's right. Because they have a city in New York called New York. New York, New York. It's not a misprint, boys. Excuse me, it's not a misprint. There's a city named New York and a state named New York. Cool. That is why. Okay, well now you know. Now you know. So when we look at our paper, we could see that they have it written like that in our paper. But so let's look over here. That's how they have it. Now we can practice it. Let me see if I can, oh, I don't think I can move down that way. I'm gonna have to move from my computer. And we have the commas and the addresses. We have, it says, so let me get, so I can write it. It's just going to let me write, possibly. So it says, determine where to add commas in the addresses below. Stephen Barnes, 187 Lowe's Way, Sandburg, Virginia. When would I put a comma there? When am I going to put a comma? Ethan. Uh, forms. After Barnes, okay, where else? In. We need two more. The, um, um, 18-7, no, 108. Where is it? Put, put a comma after 187. Not after 187, no. Somebody help our friend. Ooh, oh, put, oh, do you know uh, where? Put the camera on 
after way. After way. Good. After way. And where else? One and more. And after. And, and after. The one oh. that starts with the D. After Virginia? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't go after Virginia. Oh. It goes, um, in the first word. Oh. After here? Yeah. After Sandberg? Yeah. Goes after Sandberg because that's the name of the city. There we go. Okay. Now we have number two, Megan Paskin, 679.93 South Van Allsburg Lane, Denton, Mississippi. That's a mouthful. How do I punctuate that? Where do I put all my commas? Avery, you're so excited. Where do I put it? After, after Megan's last name. After Megan's last name. Go ahead. After Lane, good. And after Denton. After Denton, that's the name of the town in Mississippi. Oh, very good. Okay, now we have Sam Slock, 100A, North Addle Swing Court, Silver Sands, California. Where does it go? Libby, where does it go? Um, after Slock. After Slock. Not after Silver. That's part of the town name. <laughs> after Sands is one of them. <laughs> Oh, Jason Carnes, 543 Daly Road, Midtown, Texas. So after his last name. Carnes, okay. After Road. After Road. And after Midtown. After Midtown, good. Okay. Sandra Glebe, 49823 Green Tree Lane, Jasper, Maine. Teddy. Um, after Glebe. After Glebe. After Lane. After Lane. And after Jasper. After Jasper. Very good. Very good. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, boys and girls. You're going to get to practice. 